Hey friends, you know that organizations need to prepare and manage increasing amounts of data for accurate analysis of data that's becoming more complex every day. Grav is back once again to show me how wrangling data flow in Azure Data Factory enables you to do agile data preparation code free at cloud scale today on Azure Friday. Hey folks, it's Azure Friday. I'm here with Gaurav, who always brings me amazing new features in Azure Data Factory. Just churning out great new stuff. And now, you've got, my, you've got me excited. Code free? I can manage my data and prepare my data code free? Yes. Say it ain't so. Yes, so today what we are doing is we are announcing a public preview of a feature called as Wrangling Data Flow in Data Factory. And mm -hmm. this allows you to do code free, agile data preparation at cloud scale. Now, this is using the industry-leading Power Query technology that we have that you see in Excel, mm -hmm. and embedding that as a step in your data factory pipelines to do big data analytics, but all in a managed way. So you as a customer just come define your data prep logic, the business logic. We will take that business logic, translate that to Spark, and run it over big data clusters all in a managed way. Okay, so let me see if I understand this, because I'm used to using Excel or Power, you know, Power Platform to kind of give me a view on my data. Mm -hmm. I can ask questions in a code-free way, but you're mm -hmm. saying I can actually manipulate it, manage it, as you say, wrangle it, get control of it mm -hmm. in a code-free way. Yes. So it's not read-only anymore. Yes, so you can essentially apply different steps, fix your errors, and all, do all of that in an agile manner, right? Because today when we go uh, you know, interview our, our different organizations, 60% of the time they're spending in prepping the data to make sure that it is ready for downstream analytics. Now with this capability, you're using the industry-leading power query technology, but you're using that as a step in your big data pipelines in Data Factory, and now you can do agile data preparation with it. Oh wow, okay, well I got to see it to believe it. Absolutely, so here I have a pipeline essentially which uh, takes data from different sources. So you can see that this is basically a scenario for sales analytics, and I have data coming in from customer data from Salesforce, mm -hmm. products data from SAP, some point of sale data from SQL Server, and clickstream data from Amazon S3. Now, before I do any transformation on it, I need to prep the data. So here I have a wrangling data flow in uh, this particular pipeline. So if I double click this, it opens up your familiar grid view based interface that you're familiar in Excel or if you're using Power Platform data flows. And now what happened here was that your data factory data sets got loaded into this grid. So you can see that when I clicked settings, these are my source data sets. So I have my account and account owner data sets. And I just want to do some data prep by joining these data sets, removing some columns and all of it. Mm -hmm. And here I've defined that once I do the data preparation, I want to sync the data into an account rank curve data set. So once I do that, what happens is that all these data factory data sets get as an input put to this uh, particular uh, wrangling data flow, and now I'm ready to wrangle. And when I say I'm ready to wrangle, you can see that I've applied different steps here. So what I have done here is that I have merged some data. So you can uh, essentially, I have done some joins. So I have my two different data sets, and I've done an inner join on that. Uh, so just inner join, and I can choose any of those joins if I wanted to. Once I have joined the data, I've removed certain columns. So I've said that in the merged data, I want to remove these uh, column one, column two, column three, five, in a bunch of columns that I mm -hmm. had uh, that would kind of duplicates. I expanded some and renamed some columns. So it's totally up to you what operations you want to perform. You want to reduce rows, you want to uh, merge your data. You want to do column level operations like uh, you know split column, you want to do some pivot time. All of those are available for you. But the beauty is that once you define all of that business logic, so you can see that as I apply these different steps, the data in the grid kept on updating. So this is mm -hmm. the author time stuff, stuff. But when you're ready to put this in production, and you want to say that I want to run this on gigabytes or terabytes of data, then all you come and say that in your data factory pipeline, I want to use this wrangling data flow activity, and you just say that, I know that my uh, compute is either general purpose or compute optimized or memory optimized that I want and specify the core count. We will automatically spin up the infrastructure, take this business logic, and if you guys are familiar, what this is generating is an M query. So if you guys are familiar with the M language that Excel uses for these pivot and pivot operations, it takes this M query, translates that to Spark, 
and run it over big data clusters all in a managed way. So you as a customer don't have to worry about anything. You don't have to set up any of it, think about any of it at all. No. So you've taken what used to be something complicated where you need to know Spark intimately mm -hmm. or you need to know M language intimately, but this looks a lot like Excel. Exactly. It's kind of a Excel-like experience. Mm -hmm. I mean, mm -hmm. I've certainly taken a few thousand uh, rows in Excel, and mm -hmm. you know we do simple copy paste. We remove a column, we merge two columns together. We're doing those kind of things, except mm -hmm. I'm doing it at cloud scale, terabytes yes, of data. Exactly. And so this is all cloud scale in a managed way via Spark execution. That's basically what we are going after. And as I mentioned, that this is using the industry-leading Power Query technology, which is already a proven technology, has been used in Excel, has been used in Power Platform data flows, and we are not reinventing the wheels here, rather than using the same technology here. And you're putting these tools in the power of the business analyst or someone who may not have the, or be interested in having the skills to mm -hmm. go and do these things. They just want to combine two columns or split first mm -hmm. name and last name apart, and they need to do it on gigabytes of data. Now yes. they can in just minutes. Yes, exactly. So now you don't have to write the code for it, right? Because earlier you imagine the customers would have to write a Python script or mm -hmm. they would write a .NET code in order to achieve this. Now it's just a few simple clicks and all in a managed way, right? We take that business logic, run it over gigabytes, terabytes of data for the customers. It's also worth pointing out that I noticed that just like Excel, you've got the column experience where you can right click mm -hmm. and, and do it in a very kind of UI focused mm -hmm. way. Mm -hmm. But I also noticed a couple of times you opened up the formula up there, mm -hmm. which I could then write as well. Yes. So while it's code free, if I'm familiar with formulas, I could be code free but not formula free. Yep. So you as a customer, if you know how to write them language, you can essentially come and uh, put your stuff over here. Yeah, just jump into advanced. But exactly. you've got beginning, intermediate, and advanced, which exactly. is really great. Yes, so it's totally a choice as a platform we're enabling for customers in whichever way they want to go and use it in a code-free manner or use it with code. And now when I go and do this, I monitor it in the same way as anything else? Yes, so once you do this, right, and once you say, yeah, this is the wrangling data flow I want to run uh, in Data Factory, and you set it up as a step in your pipeline, so you can essentially go debug this as you're building it, put breakpoints, run it, but once you're ready to run this on a cadence, you can come here and put a trigger on top, just like you would do on any other pipeline in Data Factory, and once you do that, it becomes available in our monitoring interface. So you can see that I have the sales analytics, so I just went to my monitor tab and I'm looking at my pipeline runs, and this is the sales analytics pipeline that we just ran, and then there is a wrangling data flow activity as part of it, and you can see the monitoring of that. So we have complex monitoring available for you. You can know at each step how much data came in, how much data went out. Uh, you can know uh, different information like partitioning information, uh, uh, like uh, how much stage time it took, how many columns were dropped, all of that is information is available right at your doorstep. That's amazing. It's a, it's a full, almost a full programming IDE, except there's no code. Yes, exactly. Now, is this available to everyone? So we are announcing the public preview today. So mm -hmm. it is available for customers today to use it, and they can essentially go build their data preparation uh, workflows and use that as a step in their data factory pipelines. So we have full documentation available for this. There's a blog post that went out today, which you can essentially go read to learn more about this wrangling data flow capability. And then folks can go to the, uh, the docs.microsoft.com mm -hmm. and look at Power Query, and then also on your GitHub, you've got some information about wrangling data flows. Yes, we do. Fantastic. I am learning all about code-free, agile data preparation using the wrangling data flow in Azure Data Factory today on Azure Friday.